Selamat datang ke SPM Malaysia. Hari ini kita uh, belajar form 4 Maths Bab 1, Function and Quadratic Equation. Fungsi dan persamaan kuadratik. Okay, sebelum uh, kita belajar, I hope you can help me to subscribe our channel and then click follow button to follow our future uh, video. Okay, let's start now. Before that, I want you to understand what is quadratic. Eh? So, I show you a picture here. Okay, you can see that quadratic means it's a x square. Okay, asalkan x paling tinggi, x adalah kuasa 2, itu panggil quadratic. So, x square got two shape. One is u shape, one is uh, n shape. Or I can say that the first one is called smiley, second one is called set face. So, uh, you must understand quadratic equation or quadratic function is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. So, kalau a ni, yang penting kita tengok uh, nilai a ya. Kalau nilai a ini adalah positif, dia akan jadi smiley. Kalau negatif, dia akan jadi set face. Okay, for example, I show you here. If a is positive value, it's a smiley face. So, this is a y axis and x axis, and it's a smiley face. And then you will see here, this intersection actually is our C. Okay, kamu boleh tulis, sini adalah kita punya C. Okay, small C, pintasan Y. Then, if let's say our A is a negative value, it will be set face. So set face, our drawing will be like this, and then, Ini adalah pintasan C juga, pintasan Y, Y intercept. Okay, so now after you understand about the basic theory about quadratic, then we go to the question. For example, this one, determine whether the following is a quadratic expression or not. Okay, expression, we see uh, this one is X squared. Paling tinggi is X squared. So answer this one of course is yes. Is a quadratic expression because uh, the power, the highest power, power of x is square. Then b is no because the highest power is what is one only x. X is x power to one. Eh? So the highest power of x is equals to one. It's not two. Okay, then c blah three y square. Paling tinggi adalah y square. So square, of course, is yes. Ini betul. Then D, 0 0.5 T square. So kuasa D adalah 2. Answer also yes. For the yes, the reason are the same. Lah. Uh, the All the highest power of the unknown is 2. Then E, negative 2.5 M square plus 2 M. So the highest power for M is square. So answer also yes. Then F, you need to do uh, expansion. Siapa tak pandai expansion punya? You just remember uh, if this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. I will say 1 times 3, 1 times 4. 2 times 3, 2 times 4. Okay? So 1 times 3, 1 times 4. 2 times 3, 2 times 4. After we expand it, C times C, C kuasa 2, C square. C times negative 5, negative 5 C. 3 times C, 3 C. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Lepas tu, uh, we do simplification. C square minus 5 plus C. Negative 5 tambah 3 adalah negative 2 C. Then negative 15. So after we do expansion, the highest power is highest power for C is two. So this is a quadratic expression. Answer is yes. Okay, ini pun yes is a quadratic. So so far only B is not because B is a linear equation, a linear expression. Okay, after that we go to the next one. How to identify is a quadratic equation or not? Sini. Macam sama macam soalan satu, tapi ada sikit tak sama. Tadi adalah apa? You can see. 
This is quadratic expression, ungkapan quadratic. But this is quadratic equation, persamaan quadratic. For persamaan quadratic equation, you must equal with something. Mesti ada equal punya. If no equal sign, then it's not equation. Okay? So like A, A have no equal sign, so this is not a quadratic equation. Okay, so this is not. Then for B, this is got equal sign, but the power is X only. So this is also not. Because the highest power of X is what? The highest power of X is 1. X power to 1 only. So ini adalah linear. But C, 3y squared minus 4 equals to 6y. Ini ada equal sign, so it's an equation. And then highest is 2, so this is yes. Okay, betul. Then D also betul because got equal sign, the highest power is 2. So it's yes also. Okay, the rest you can try yourself. So next one, I want to teach a bit about roots. Saya ajar soalan B sahaja lah. Yang lain kamu boleh cuba. So for question B, I want you to understand uh, how to find a root. First thing, got few step lah, okay? Got few step. You need to understand the, the step is what. First step to find a root. Step one, you must put it equals to zero. Okay, step one must be equals to zero. Apa maksud equals to zero? For example lah, uh, sini semua equals to zero, okay? For example, like, um, okay, find an example. Okay, for example, C. C is not equal to zero. So, you must put the negative 5 to ne uh, left side. Ini D pun bukan equal to zero. So, the 24X need to put to the left side. E pun, uh, 6 need to put to the left side also. Okay, so how to make it zero, just put to the one side lah. Then, step two. Step two, what you do? You need to uh, find the ABC. Okay, A, B, C. And then, after you find the A, B, C, step 3, press your calculator. If let's say, uh, today I'm going to teach about how to use calculator lah. Okay, for manual way, I will teach also but in my online uh, tuition class. You can uh, also search in other video, other YouTube video you see. What is the manual way, how to find the roots. Huh? So, so today I teach using calculator. So, step 3, we use calculator. Eh? So, calculator, tekan mode. Okay, you press your mode. Then, you nampak EQN. EQN is number 1. So, you just press the number 1. EQN, lepas tu, uh, this is the number 1. Lepas tu, tekan lagi mode. You will see unknown. Tapi, jangan tekan itu unknown. You tekan lagi mode. And then, you will see degree. Okay, sebab kuarati adalah kuasa 2. So, you press degree 2. Okay, this is a step. Then you will get x1 and x2. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you this first one, B. Step 1, no need already. You jump to step 2. What is your A? A, A adalah x square punya nilai. So, x square punya nilai adalah 2. Then, what is your B? B adalah x punya nilai. x punya nilai adalah positif 9. Then, C. C adalah nilai untuk yang tak ada X. Without X. So, it's negative 5. Okay, A, B, C already identify. Next, you jump to step 3. Use your calculator. Press your mode, EQN, mode, degree, 2. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, by using my calculator. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use my calculator here. I'm so sorry, eh? I cannot show you my calculator. But never mind, you can try using your own calculator. Okay, you press your calculator mode, EQ and mode, degree 2, A2, B9, C negative 5. Okay, so kamu akan nampak X1. You will get X1 is equals to 0 0.5. Jangan guna decimal. Okay, change it to fraction. How to change fraction? Eh? Kamu tekan shift, 
A, B, C. Oke, okay, sini saya tunjuk. Shift A, B, C. Oke, okay, shift, shift A, B, C. Dia akan nampak 1 per 2. So, X1 is 1 per 2. After that, you need to uh, press equal sign again. You will get X2. Your X2 is negative 5. Okay, so you get your X1 X, and X2 already, right? Then, kita kena buat dalam uh, kita punya working. Your working mesti ada apa? Ini ABC boleh padam, tak apa. Tak ada markah punya. But your step, you must have two bracket. Okay, your step must have two bracket like this. So, first bracket, X, ini one boleh delete lah. Tak payah one lah, just put X only. I just show you uh, that calculator, you give you X1, X2, right? So, kalau X sama dengan satu per dua, first step, itu dua kena tu, uh, naik ke atas dulu lah. So, this two go up here. It will become 2x. And then positive 1 akan jadi negative 1. And then this one, x is equal to negative 5. So x, negative 5 jadi positive 5. Okay, I give example some more. Ah. Kalau, let's say question uh, bagi soalan and then kamu dapat x1, x2 dalam pecahan. For example, okay, before that you must have two uh, bracket. Then your x1, you will get a negative 3 per 4. Then your x2, let's say your x2, you get a negative 8. So how you put in here? x equals to negative 3 per 4. The 4 you bring up, you will, you will become 4x. Negative 3 will become positive 3. Then x equals to negative 8, become x plus 8. Faham? I show another again. So, first step, lukis dulu dua bracket. Then you press your calculator, you get x1 and x2. So, x1 you get, let's say here is a negative 2 per 3. And then x2 you will get, let's say, positive 3 per 7. So, how you put that? Eh? First one, the 3 you need to bring up. Yang bawah punya kena naik atas. Ini tujuh kena bring up juga. Okay. Asalkan bawa kena naik atas. So 3x, negative 2 become positive 2. Then here, 7 bring up become 7x, positive 3 become negative 3. Macam ni. Understand here? So today our lesson until here only. So if let's say you want to join our online tuition, okay, you may PM us in our telegram. Okay, we have trial, free trial class for the first time student. If you are first time student, you can uh, request from us our telegram. And if you got any uh, questions, some more, you also can ask us in our. Uh, you can click the link in our you uh, the description of the YouTube. Okay, you can click the link in the description below, and also join our Facebook and Telegram. Okay, thank you so much and bye-bye.